Hey Scrollers, welcome to the introduction for the six part series of Basic Intarsia to Seashell. I always have been very impressed with the technique of Intarsia, which by the way can also be pronounced Intarsia. Before I started making Intarsia, I was very intimidated by it. I simply never thought I was good enough, with my scroll saw anyway, to make such beautiful work. Plus I always thought that Intarsia required many different pieces of specialized sanding equipment in order to make a piece. I finally decided to break down and just go ahead and try using the equipment I already had. I made the little Santa bear and after that I realized man I wasted a lot of time not trying Intarsia sooner. So here's a slideshow of Intarsia pieces that have been made using the methods and tools that I use. Now my methods are quite a bit different than the current methods that are being taught out there mostly on the internet and they probably won't work for everybody but they work for me and that's all that really matters to me and by no means am I trying to get you to change your ways if you already make intarsia my methods are different and that's it they're not right or wrong they're just simply different now in my opinion what differentiates a good piece of intarsia from a average piece of intarsia is the shaping of the piece for my shaping, I use a simple sanding disc attached to my drill press. I use this for 90% of the sanding and shaping that I do. Not only is this tool quick and easy to use, it's very cost effective and gives you the ability to be a little bit more creative with your shaping. And don't worry, i show you how to do this in the video. I thought I would share these methods with those of you that always wanted to try Intarsia but like me, might have been a little intimidated to do it. Hopefully, these lessons will take some of the mystery and intimidation out of trying Intarsia. It really is a lot easier than it looks. So I went ahead and made a six part video series of how to make this simple seashell. I thought six parts of video was better than one long one. There simply is a lot of information to cover from pattern pattern prep to shaping through finishing and plus I also have one of the entire lessons dedicated to repairing gaps. Gaps are going to be inevitable. You're going to have gaps so don't be afraid of them just know that there's a way to fix them because once you fix the gaps your piece really gets nice. When you're done watching the videos hopefully you will feel comfortable with taking on most intarsia projects. The seashell may be a bit of a simple, but the techniques that are taught in this video session will work on much more sophisticated patterns. So here's the link to the seashell series. This is part one, and the link is also in the description below. Go ahead and watch, and if you like them, please click like and subscribe if you would like. And as always, happy scrolling.